In this tutorial we're going to learn to create a drag and drop interaction using Articulate Storyline. When you create drag activities in Storyline you have two ways to approach it. One way is to use a trigger and the other way is to use the Convert to Freeform. The advantage of using a Convert to Freeform is that you also get the quizzing logic built into the interaction. Here's a good example of a drag and drop interaction. We have these food items that I can drag to the plate. Now typically when you create drag interactions you're going to have your draggable object and you have a reason why you're dragging it and generally you're moving it to a location and the place you're moving it to is called a target. So in this case we have our drag object and then our target's the plate. Now in this particular interaction I can hit submit and then I get a variable that's counting my calories. So as I begin to add more objects to the screen and I hit submit it's going to increase my calorie count or decrease it. So this is a really nice interaction. Um, here's a drag and drop interaction based on a trigger and this is one of the activities we'll actually build. So we have a food item here and I want to drag it. And you'll notice when I drag it the fridge opens but when I drag it away the fridge closes. Opens, closes. The other thing is when I drag it and drop it the fridge closes. So we're going to learn how to build that. And this is based on a trigger. And now this drag and drop interaction is actually built with the Convert to Freeform tool. This is another one of the activities we'll do. In this case I have to determine which objects I need to place in my emergency preparedness kit. When I'm satisfied I have a Submit button and I can submit it and then I get my feedback. So let's go ahead and build the drag and drop interactions. We'll start with the triggers and then we'll look at one using the Convert to Freeform. This first interaction that we build we're going to use triggers. Now let's look at what we have. So we have two images on the screen. One's the fridge image, the other is the food image. And what we want to do is take the food, drag it to the fridge. When we drag it to the fridge, we want the fridge door to open. When we drag it away, we want the fridge door to close. And then when we drop it on the fridge, we want the fridge door to close and we want the object to be gone. So let's go ahead and see how we do that. If you look at the fridge image and go to states, You'll notice that there's a normal state which is closed and then we have an open state. So what we're going to do is create a trigger that opens and closes this door based on our action. So let's go ahead and create our first trigger. So I want to create a new trigger. What do I want to do? When do I want to do it? In this case I want to open the fridge door when I drag the ice cream to the fridge. So let's do change state. So we want to change the state of the fridge to open when, when the object is dragged over. So we'll say when an object is dragged over. Now we need to make sure we select the right things here. So what object, so we'll say the ice cream, is dragged over the fridge. So if we read it, change the state of the fridge to open when the ice cream is dragged over the fridge. We go ahead and hit OK. Let's preview this. And I have a simple drag interaction based on dragging this object to the fridge. Now when I drop it, it snaps back. When I drag it away, it doesn't close. So let's go ahead and build the close part of that. So I'm going to close the preview. Now if we think about it, I'm dragging this and it's opening the fridge. So I have a trigger that does that. Now I need to have a trigger that when I drag it onto something else, it needs to close it. In this case, when I drag it on any place other than the fridge. An easy way to do that is to use a hotspot. So we'll insert a hotspot. So if we insert a hotspot here, what's nice about the hotspot is it's a shape. It's transparent so it's invisible but we know the shape is there. Now a couple of things we need to do when we're using the hotspot this way. We need to turn off the trigger because we don't need a trigger. So hotspots by default come with triggers. So we can go ahead and delete that. And if we come to the timeline, what we want to do is change the position of the hotspot. So we actually want it under everything. So I'll just drag it. So now what we have is the fridge is on top. And when we drag this on the fridge, the fridge door will be open. But every place else will be the hotspot. Now the other thing we need to do is we can title this. So we can just call this um, a closed target. So we know that we want the door closed when we hit that target. So now I've got this. I need to create the same type of trigger. So create a trigger. What do I want to do in this case is I want to 
change the state of this fridge to closed or to the normal state when the ice cream is on the hot spot. So change the state of the fridge to normal when when the object is dragged over which object the ice cream is dragged over the hot spot. So that's why we titled it closed target. And now if we preview this, we should have an interaction where we're using triggers and the dragging so I can open and I can close, open, close. Now let's do it where I drop it and it closes the door. Now to do that, I just need another trigger and I'm just going to use a drag and drop trigger. So what do I want to do is I want to change the state of this to normal when this ice cream is dropped on the fridge. So let's create another trigger. Change the state of the fridge to normal when, when an object is dropped on. So in this case, what object? This ice cream. So we choose the ice cream. When the ice cream is dropped on the fridge, we hit OK. We're going to preview this. And so what we have is our ice cream. I can open the door. I can close the door. I can open the door. I can close the door. I'm going to drop it. It should close the door. Now one of the problems we have is that the ice cream is still visible. So we need to fix that. And let me show you a new state change that you may not be aware of. So we'll close the preview. If we click on the ice cream and click on states, we can create a new state that's going to be called drop correct. And it's a pre-built state in Storyline. So let's go to Edit States. We'll create a new state. And we're just going to choose this down here. You can see there's a drop correct. And you also have a drop incorrect. But we're going to choose drop correct. We'll hit Add. So now I have my drop correct state. What I'm going to do is make sure you're on the active state. I'm just going to delete the image. So I have a state and the state's just empty. So let's go ahead and hit Done Editing. Now when I drop it on here, that's going to be correct and it's going to disappear. So watch what happens. I can open. I can close. I'm going to drop it and it closed and it disappeared. So that's building a drag and drop interaction using triggers. In the next example, we're going to build a drag and drop interaction using the Convert to Freeform feature.